Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. A risk disclaimer, trading equities in futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, I'll need to update this here soon uh, because um, trading equities in futures and cryptocurrencies uh, will be included in the next release of Bookmap, and that will come out in mid-January. And uh, uh, crypto or Bitcoin is up at 15,000 or 16,000, something like that uh, this morning. So um, uh, the uh, CBOE as well as the CME is going to be, I think CBOE is today or tomorrow that they, they offer uh, uh, access uh, to trading. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, I want to let you guys know about that. The um, uh, We have a, a really uh, excellent uh, connection uh, to the uh, um, cryptocurrencies, and uh, that is something unique. Okay, It's uh, uh, going to offer a lot of flexibility. Wow, almost 17,000. <laughs> wow, thanks, Robert. Okay. Yeah, amazing. I mean, just amazing. Um, so anyway, um, uh, can't wait to uh, start to trade that uh, with uh, using Bookmap because the visualization is, uh, uh, you know, we're going to really be able to utilize that uh, and understand what's going on. Uh, and uh, I'll capture maybe a few hundred dollars in a in a in a very uh, short, uh, you know, probably <laughs> one minute move or or less. Um, and um, uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, let's move on and get into the um, uh, platform details webinar here. Uh, so the um, uh, bookmap. Uh, if you have more questions about it, you can find it at bookmap.com. Uh, more information and there's a free trial. Okay, um, and um, uh, it's uh, 14 days and it comes with education. You get access to the bookmap educational course and then these advanced order flow webinars. So let me make a distinction between this webinar and the um, uh, webinar that uh, will start in about half an hour. Okay, that's the advanced order flow webinars, right? So this webinar is open to the public uh, and uh, to ask questions, to understand what you're looking at in Bookmap, uh, and then um, uh, just go over the basics uh, because uh, this is a unique software. A lot of people haven't seen data visualized, market data visualized like this. Uh, so uh, we go through the basics uh, and answer any questions. Uh, most of our uh, clients that um, are current customers or in trial, they've gotten beyond that point. So uh, we really dig deep into the order flow immediately. Okay, so that's the distinction between the two webinars and that's what you get uh, with uh, uh, the trial or if you're currently subscribing. Okay, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, let's see, uh, Enrique, you have a few questions. Um, is it really live? Looks like a playback. I, I don't know what you're talking about. If, if you're talking about um, uh, bookmap here or if you're talking about uh, uh, something else. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're testing me to see if, if this is live right now. Got it. All right. Interesting. Um, okay. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look here uh, at the uh, Bookmap website. Uh, so answer some questions for you guys, uh, just what Bookmap is and what we're offering here. Okay. So uh, there's an intro video that will give you some information. Uh, there's the um, uh, about Bookmap sessions, uh, sections here. Uh, and then uh, some of the data feeds here, one of them is we, we connect to uh, NASDAQ Total View via uh, Dev Experts. And this is a great data feed and it allows you access to all US equities. Okay, so Bookmap is not just for futures. Uh, and um, the uh, uh, connectivity is, the list is all here, okay. Bookmap is a software platform. Uh, we, we are not uh, a data provider. You will need a data provider, okay? Uh, these are the ways that you can connect Bookmap, right? Now, you can see you can also connect via NinjaTrader, uh, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Traders Workstation via the API, okay? However, Bookmap is a trading platform just like these, these platforms here. So you just uh, input your credentials for your data feed or your broker to your account, 
and you're up and running using CQG, Rhythmic, uh, Gain, IQ Feed, etc. All right. Okay. Uh, here's where you can find the free trial. Uh, it's um, uh, 49 per month for the basic and 99 per month for the advanced. It is billed quarterly. Uh, it's free for 14 days, though. Uh, and the difference between these two versions are mostly right here. Okay. The ability to trade right from the chart with Bookmap, these uh, proprietary indicators that we put together that not only start to identify and visualize the order flow, but the players uh, involve larger players uh, holding large, uh, large lots or uh, uh, entering with iceberg orders. Okay, order book and balances in a correlation tracker as well. And uh, this one click trading right from the chart is a really nice feature because we've got the heat map in front of us. So why not use it uh, and uh, front run some of that high liquidity if you want to get filled uh, and hide your stops behind it uh, for trade management so uh, you, you're protected uh, a little bit better. Okay, quants, you can reach out to us. You have, you'll, you'll have your specific needs um, connecting your own data own indicators, etc. So just uh, reach out to us, please. Uh, social media, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at bookmap uh, underscore pro. Okay. And uh, then uh, subscribe to our YouTube page here. All these different videos, there are several. So start with the playlist here of bookmap intro uh, and then uh, features and components to understand the interface of bookmap. And then these order flow video snippets, this is where you're going to start to understand what you're looking at in bookmap and the order flow. Okay. So uh, we go through this in detail in the advanced webinars. Uh, these videos here are much shorter. There's just a few minutes long, uh, but uh, this is just uh, going over the concepts of uh, what we look at in detail uh, in the advanced webinars. All right, let's jump into bookmap and see what's going on. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Um, all right, so since, um, I mean, we do this every day, uh, and uh, it's because there's a lot of new traders in here. So what is it that you're looking at here? All right, so uh, uh, we'll go through this. There's a lot of you that, uh, you know, visualizing book map or the market here via book map uh, might look really foreign to you, and it might look very complex. It's actually the opposite. It's very simple data. Uh, and, um, uh, we do have like an indicator sub panel down here, but, uh, I'm going to even close that up and we're just going to look at, uh, the main, uh, historical chart for the moment. So what are we looking at? Just three items. We're looking at historical best bid and offer, the volume dots that traded, or the volume that traded on the best bid and offer. And, uh, then we're looking at this grayscale heat map, which is showing you the, um, the order book, okay. So the the dome, all of the all of the data from from the dome is recorded and then projected onto the chart. So that's it. That's all you're looking at, okay. So but we can understand though and um, uh, gain insight to uh, the behavior uh, of that auction, okay. Because look at look at this uh, 6320 area here. Look at them bidding it up, okay. This is a breakout of this area here. Uh, nice, nice, strong breakout here to the upside, and uh, look at this. Um, uh, look at them supporting price here at 63.20. They want to be buyers up here now. That's pretty bullish, and uh, we can see the play out of it. And we're approaching the big target area here of 33. Okay, so not only do we have understanding of how bullish they are in that auction by looking at the heat map, but we can also start to target areas. Look how long these guys have been in here up at 33. Okay, long time. So uh, this is the, the target for the larger players. Anyway, let's get into just this, uh, uh, the, the, the very basics of what you're looking at here. Uh, and let me demo this and then I'll get into uh, the, uh, uh, some of the order flow that's going on right now. Okay, and I'm gonna turn off all of these indicators uh, and um, well, some of the proprietary indicators and uh, the heat map and the volume and the historical best bid and offer. So this is a basic chart that we're all accustomed to looking at. It's a five minute candlestick chart. Uh, it's open high, low close of a five minute period. Okay, we have a volume sub chart here and uh, 
uh, what I want to cover is the opacity that this uh, candlestick chart uh, is giving us. Uh, we, we, there's so much information here we just do not see uh, that is critical to making insightful trading decisions. Okay, we just see open high, low close of a of a period, and that period is all aggregated. Okay, within that five minute bar. We have no clue where the volume traded, for example. We have no clue about microstructure uh, that, that occurred within the, these periods. That microstructure is, is key to understanding um, uh, areas that are broken uh, and, uh, and then getting in early uh, looking for continuation uh, after that break of the microstructure. Okay? It gives a lot of insight here, and it's all... Um, uh, uh, very, uh, um, uh, well, it's all aggregated, so we, we cannot see uh, what's going on here uh, in those structures. Okay, so let's just turn on historical best bid and offer, and here we go. Okay, so uh, we can start to understand uh, areas of, um, of microstructure, for example, down here. Okay, this is a double bottom from today uh, in the NASDAQ, of course, but uh, uh, this is what occurred. And let me zoom into this area, okay? We can just click on this move tool, hover over here and zoom in quickly, all right? So we continued on in a, in a downtrend here, all right? And uh, we, we made a lower low in this area here, okay? And uh, there was a lot of trading down here, okay? And then uh, uh, what we're gonna see though uh, is that buyer stepped in. Okay, and where did they step in? Well, we're going to see it probably in this area here because we broke this microstructure, okay, and we come, we came back into the range here and traded back into it. All right, this is going to be trap volume. It's probably going to cover on the other side over here uh, of this uh, swing or this kind of structure up here. Okay, we'll probably see a lot of a lot of volume right in this area here, I imagine. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for it, and I'll turn on the volume in just a moment. But understanding these microstructural areas uh, are key. Look at the pullback here. Okay, this is this is also missing in this candlestick. Uh, the the uh, there's a, a pullback um, right to where we broke from here at this uh, 62.95 area. Okay, and it rejected and came back up to the upside. All right. Uh, this is one of the setups we actually look for uh, in the advanced order flow webinars. Uh, if we see the break, we look for a pullback uh, to where it broke from, and we look for getting in and looking for continuation. All right, we look for points of exhaustion, uh, and uh, we look for the aggressor here to be dominating uh, on the uh, uh, with the aggressive market buy orders. So let's take that microstructure now, and let's place some volume on it. All right, well, here's our significant buying that we were starting to look for, okay, that uh, occurred and drove the market up to some of these levels. Uh, here's our pullback here, uh, and then uh, here's nice cluster of, uh, of volume here, and we start to see buyers really start to step in. Uh, yeah, here they did for sure, uh, but then uh, you see them here as well, and then uh, up in this area here. So we're off to the upside in trend continuation, all right? All of this information here is um, completely lacking in this candlestick chart, okay? And if uh, if you're looking at um, uh, a candlestick chart with indicators to try to gain in, uh, insight um, with uh, some sort of uh, indicator that uh, uh, gives you a, a derivative of time, price, and volume, well, I, it, it, it's possible that uh, uh, that indicator uh, is uh, not going to give you a really clear picture of what's going on here uh, really with uh, with price and where traders are uh, engaged, okay? Because we know here that uh, uh, we see initiated buying pulling this market up, okay? We know that there are buyers here. We come back and retest those buyers here uh, and um, actually see some selling here, which is uh, kind of, it's, it's rare to be honest. We don't usually, on these pullbacks, you have exhaustion uh, on the on the sell side. Uh, and uh, and you you'll see the um, uh, market kind of uh, come back up into the range here, and then you see the buyers just like this uh, pull pull up the market to a new high. 
Okay, so this this is uh, in line with what we usually see uh, in the structure. Again, microstructure here, broken. Okay, let me outline this. Broken right here at 6,300, the figure. Okay, obviously an important area. Uh, we, we break up above it, come back and retest where we broke from. Uh, and then we don't see a lot of selling here. Uh, and then uh, we, we continue to the upside. Okay, big, big battle actually going on here. We can see sell, a lot of selling in this area uh, and, and, and some buying as well. Uh, but uh, these guys are getting uh, stopped out on the way up. But, uh, anyway. Uh, so what happened within this five minute period here? We have all of the clues here and we, we know exactly what, what occurred here, okay? We see the uh, microstructure uh, from the previous uh, uh, session, five minute session. Uh, we see that was broken. We see the retest here. This is a great entry point uh, looking for uh, uh, at least a retest back up to the highs here. Uh, and then you could have even re-entered back in this area here. Okay, all sorts of things to go through. I mean, uh, this is what we go through in detail in the uh, advanced order flow webinar, but uh, we're just showing you the basics of uh, the uh, uh, the volume uh, and that historical best bid and offer, okay? And how much insight we're getting from it compared to this candlestick chart, okay? All right, so to simplify this, okay, I think I can take the candlestick off at this point. Uh, and uh, to simplify this, though, let me zoom in here. And because all of this volume and volume dots, et cetera, what is it we're really looking at, okay? And this is why I started off just uh, describing that what we're looking at is very, very simple data. Okay, let me actually find something that doesn't have a spread widen out, something a little simpler, okay, just to make the point. Yeah, maybe in here. Okay, well, the spread's kind of widening out even in here, but all we're looking at here uh, is um, uh, historical best offer, the red line, historical best bid is the green line, that's it, okay? The spread widened here, another tick. It's usually a tick wide. Um, very frequently, but uh, you can see it widen out in some of these areas to two ticks, okay? Uh, and then uh, we're looking at the, these volume dots here, okay? These are transactions that took place on the historical best bid and offer, okay? We use the aggressor classification of volume. Uh, so looking at the red line here, uh, we can see the uh, green dot. What is this green dot? This is an aggressive market buy. Someone hit the market buy button, they crossed the spread, uh, they paid up for it, uh, and they took liquidity off of the best offer, okay? They did not provide liquidity, okay? The limit orders uh, in the limit order book over here, these are traders lined up at specific areas providing liquidity in the market on the offer and then on here on the bid, okay? The aggressor though, they're taking liquidity. Okay, so uh, here's an aggressive sell right here. Okay, so that's uh, the red dot. So that's what you're looking at. Um, and uh, we can look at the specifics. We can even zoom in uh, to these levels and we can use this data tip tool. So note here that uh, if I hover over this area, the data tip tool gives me the date, uh, the time. The time is actually down to the millisecond here. Uh, or actually a nanosecond looks like. Um, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in a little bit more, okay, because I want to show you that uh, uh, see, notice how I zoom in here, and actually uh, what we've recorded uh, is, um, and we're down here at microsecond level, so we're looking at millions of seconds, and what we're showing here is there's actually three different uh, trade events that took place, okay, and they happen very quickly, Okay, we can continue to zoom in here and we can look at billions of seconds, okay? And uh, this is what really occurred here, okay? This is uh, one trade for a volume of two, okay? I know exactly what traded here, all right? So um, uh, our complex event processor can handle all of these data points and give it to, give it to you. Uh, so what, uh, what happened really quickly here was three trade events, 
one for one volume, volume of one, one for volume of two, and another one for volume of one. Okay, so four trades altogether. Uh, and, um, or sort of vo volume of four altogether for three trades. Okay, but notice how as I zoom back out, what we've done in the interface here is we consolidated that into a bigger dot. And we're just showing you the overall um, uh, aggregation, just, just graphically though, okay? It's all here, all the data is here, uh, but uh, we don't trade at those levels. So it doesn't really help us to see all those uh, events. So as I zoom back out, you're gonna note how I compress the timeline uh, and then the, the, that, that'll turn into a bigger, uh, bigger dot. Okay, so this big uh, uh, green dot over here, this is for volume of 31, okay? Uh, this one here, look at this one, that it gives a, a pie display, okay? So this was for 131 contracts, but the majority of it was aggressive selling, okay? A sliver of it here uh, was, uh, was buying, okay? So that's what occurred here, uh, and, um, uh, but I can zoom in here and I'll pull apart all that trade activity, and this is really what occurred here. Okay, we see a sweep of the book uh, lower. Look at how the aggressor came in here uh, and took all the liquidity uh, down uh, several ticks. Uh, and then we kind of went sideways here for a bit. Okay, sweep of the book is uh, something we go through uh, in detail in the uh, Bookmap educational course. Uh, it's usually how uh, the market moves to new levels uh, on, on micro uh, structural timeframes as well as macro. All right, sweep of the book here, for example, okay? And uh, and we move to a new level in this one. All right, anyway, uh, that's just the aggressive volume, okay? So we're looking at only two things here on this chart, and I think I can get rid of the drawings here. I made my point with the structure. Um, so we're just looking at volume and historical best bid and offer. That's it. Okay, very simple view of the market, but very insightful. Okay, uh, more insightful than a footprint chart, which, uh, and the reason being is if you're looking at your footprint chart, which shows you exactly where the volume traded, uh, but it aggregates it. Okay, you're not going to see the microstructures. You're not going to see them broken uh, like you will here in Bookmap. Uh, and that's the, ins the, the insight that uh, Bookmap will give you. All right, so... Uh, that's uh, a, an important part of the order flow is understanding uh, the uh, the tape, okay, the tape reading here, uh, the transactions that occurred, right, and then we understand it in terms of structure as well. But the the big problem here uh, is um, uh, there's another part to the market that we're not getting, uh, and uh, this is where the heat map comes in. The problem here is that um, uh, we don't know where they're bidding and offering here, okay? We can we can view that with the dome, okay? That's usually how we look at it. Uh, Edson, I see your question here. Um, no, you cannot make the, the um, uh, red and green lines thinner. Uh, there are other um, uh, things that you can do though. Uh, for example, uh, we can come up here and um, uh, let's see. Instead, of, if you wanna look at maybe last price, okay? Uh, and and uh, we can just take off the uh, best bid and offer, right? So that's just last price. Or you won't see a spread, et cetera, right? Or you can even take that off too and just, you know, now we're just looking at the volume, okay? Or you can, you can uh, you know, uh, come up here and uh, look at last price and then you can, you can change the color if you don't, if you want to make this like a, a gray or something like that, if this is distracting. Okay, I mean, there's all sorts of different ways of, uh, uh, you know, changing uh, the um, uh, the settings here in Bookmap, right? But let's go over the uh, best bid and offer, uh, and um, and uh, let's go over the heat map now. Okay, so um, the um, let's see another question, Enrique. Um, uh, is the training included with the um, with the with the fee? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the the education comes along with uh, with Bookmap. Okay, so it's a real nice package. You get uh, not only the uh, 14 day trial uh, and then uh, and then Bookmap, 
uh, but you, you get the education as well, okay? It's an important part uh, of understanding uh, the order flow. Uh, that's why we offer it. Okay, let's see another question here. Um, moment you log into the platform, history is already there. Ah, okay. Um, no, uh, that's a great question, Enrique. Uh, no, the uh, once you open up Bookmap, you start collecting data. Okay. Um, that actually is going to be a new feature um, in uh, the upcoming new version that will be out in mid-January. Uh, you will be able to import historical data. Okay, not just trade data, but depth of market data. All right. Okay. Um, you know, guys, I think um, uh, I may uh, um, usually uh, on Friday we um, will um, uh, send out the link so that you can access the advanced order flow webinar and get a taste of what's going on. Uh, I think I'll just give it to you guys today uh, and uh, and you can uh, access it today as well because it's going to start in about uh, three minutes. OK, so let me uh, let me let me get that for you. Um, and uh, put it in, I'll put it into the chat here for you, all right? So if you want to get a taste for what that um, advanced order flow webinar is like, hold on just a minute, and then let me cover this heat map uh, so that uh, uh, then we can, uh, and then we, we'll jump into the next webinar and we'll really get into the details here, okay? All right, so there's the link. Uh, that is for the uh, advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so click on that, register there, uh, and then you guys will get you get access to it for uh, for today and tomorrow, actually. Okay, so uh, give you guys a taste of what we go over um, in the advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so let's uh, let's cover this here, and then we'll jump into that webinar. Um, now we're looking at historical best bid and offer, and we're looking at the um, traded volume. That's it. Okay. What about the auction? Where are they bidding and offering? Okay. That is uh, accessed usually in the dome. Okay. This is the dome and book map, the current order book column here. Uh, and um, uh, the, um, uh, let's see, uh, Cheddar to change the color of the text? Uh, no. Um, the, uh, I believe, I believe not. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look here under settings, color settings. Text highlight. Yeah, I mean, there's timeline and time access, I think, uh, that, that you can, you can also change though. Okay. All right. Um. So anyway, looking at the, the um, order book, okay, this is how we access the dome, the depth of market, okay? Here's, here's your best bid and offer right here. This is your depth on the offer, your depth on the bid, okay? It's the same in this window here. This is best bid and offer and last traded volume, okay? Here's, and this is our price ladder, okay? Depth of market is really insightful. It gives us understanding of where traders are lined up to trade, Okay, you can see them up here at 62 and, and 60, um, or uh, I'm sorry, 32 and 33 with high liquidity. They're down here uh, at uh, 24 and three quarters with high liquidity on the bid. Okay, so it gives us an understanding of where traders are lining up to trade, which is very insightful. The problem is, as you can see, this, these numbers are changing constantly. Once they change, that data is lost. You're going to have to memorize the dome. Okay, and that's the problem here. Bookmap solves that issue uh, by um, recording it in the heat map. Okay, so here's our heat map. So here uh, in this window here, you'll see the grayscale change when the liquidity changes. Okay, so these numbers change, the grayscale changes. All right. So for the for example, these guys up at 33, there's still you know 58 contracts up here, but they pulled uh, the it was a uh, you know 60 uh, 66 contracts up in this area before 68. Okay, now they're back in. Okay, so that adding and pulling is all recorded. 
Okay, we take this data and it's recorded onto the chart. And we can see the behavior of these traders in this auction. Note how they had high liquidity here and they pulled it, added back in, pulled it, and then just added back in. What this allows us to do is understand these areas over time because we have it all historically now. So you're able to now utilize the dome on much higher time frames, and uh, we, it's all recorded. You can all you can see it all here, right? And combining that with the uh, the tape and the the traded volume uh, gives us a complete picture of what's going on in the market. So to conclude. Those three items give us a lot of insight, okay? Historical best bid and offer, traded volume, and then the evolution of the uh, order book, the historical order book. All right, so let's end it there, and uh, we'll jump into the next webinar, and uh, um, we'll, we'll see you there.